Okay. <laughs> okay, let's start. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Mayo, and I'm uh, one of uh, Japanese uh, translation editor. Today, I'm going to talk about WordPress tr uh, localization. Uh, I choose this topic for Singapore. Everyone speak English. Uh, it, it sounds weird, but uh, I choose I choose it because uh, in the past work camps, I saw a lot of talk about localization and internationalization, and they always say internationalization is important. But I'm always wondering, mm, maybe English people don't understand my situation. So, <laughs> so I choose this topic this time. So uh, let's see how many of you speak English as first language. Can you? Uh, yes. OK, so how many of you speak only English? Ah, OK. And how, how many of you speak any other language besides English? Ah, a lot. <laughs> yes. OK. Mm, OK. So. So today, I, for first, uh, I'll talk about how it works, uh, WordPress translation is, because some of you might uh, not, not see the, uh, n never try WordPress uh, translation. Uh, by the way, how many of you only try uh, English version of WordPress? Ah, a lot, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I, I was expected that, yeah. So then, uh, then after uh, we will see the situation about localization from my point of view as Japanese, and then uh, I'll I'll talk about how you can collaborate with community of translators. So let's start about how it works. Maybe you have seen this screen when you install your WordPress. From WordPress 4.0, you can select language which you want to use, use it during the uh, installation process. When you select the language beside English, WordPress will download language file from WordPress.org server into the language folder, which placed on the WP content directory. WordPress uses uh, getx function as internationalization functions. It, it was not only developed for WordPress, but uh, it's created by G GNU uh, operating system. So let's see how getx call translation strings. So it, it is Japanese version of WordPress dashboard. And the red line, uh, it is it says, uh, welcome to WordPress. So, and this is a source code of the screen. And uh, you can see uh, it's between the opening tag and the closing tag of H2. And we call function get text using PHP. So this is source code. and. And this is a, a content of language file uh, WordPress downloaded from the uh, old repository. Uh, so it makes pair of original string and the translated one. So uh, this is a translation editor of WordPress core named Globpress. It works on the web browser, so we can collaborate to working for translate, translation strings online. We are currently working for WordPress 4.9. It's scheduled next month. So we started working from three weeks ago, and we check new string every day, and we we add new new translation. Then uh, every day, new translation file generate and send it to uh, WordPress 
uh, who use beta version. And when we finish translation or update string, uh, it happened. Mm. And uh, the language file set, uh, settings are not only translation, but uh, they they have a lot of settings for language or countries. Uh, for example, a default time zone. Uh, so language file specify not only language but uh, location like uh, Japanese uh, language code is only JA but if you use uh, for example English uh, in US language code should be EN uh, under the US so because you English is used by many country so language file also has uh, localized set settings like time zone and data and time format, news source, it, it uh, news of, uh, you know, if you so see dashboard, WordPress news appeared and you, uh, uh, translation file also defines the source of news and uh, also content count system. Do you know that uh, if you use content editor or WordPress, you can see the word count, but uh, you know, Japanese don't split uh, words by space. We, we, need, we, don't need, we don't use space, so we have to count by character. So language file also has that kind of settings. So this is about WordPress core translation. But WordPress localization is not only about core. So I'll talk about local community. And I'm a Japanese, so <laughs> I'll talk from my point of view. And uh, so here is three facts of Japanese and WordPress. Fact one. Did you know first version of translated version of WordPress is was Japanese? Yes. Uh, so we started translated version over ten years ago. Fuck two. Eighty percent of website uh, which use Japanese lang version. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> it was wrong. It was wrong. Uh, I wanted to say 80% of web, uh, website which use w uh, CMS and which use Japanese language are a bit with WordPress. Fox 3, uh, so, so I, I wanted to say a lot of people in Japan use WordPress. WordPress is strong. And Fox 3, a lot of WordPress developers, including me, I haven't, uh, haven't read English articles. Uh, yeah, I became de WordPress developer without reading English articles. Yes, because we have translated version of Codex. Uh, Codex is WordPress documentation. So we can see the, uh, its reference of, it, it is reference of function, get post meta, and it's translated and we have a lot of pages so uh, I have I, I, I didn't read English article to become WordPress developer and we also have a lot of uh, sorry this is Amazon Japanese version of Amazon and we have a lot of Japanese books it's Exclu excluded uh, Kindle but we have 341 books on Amazon in Japan. And I think, I think uh, in this room we have author of first book and second book. <laughs> yes. And we also have support forum. So, and uh, that screen is too small, but first one. Uh, 
first one was uh, updated nine, nine hours ago, and third one is 10 hours ago, so it's very active. So if you have problem about WordPress, you can, you can ask in our language. So <laughs> yeah, now, now I speak English because I wanted to come here. <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I, I didn't read any English article to become WordPress developer. And uh, if I have some problem, uh, maybe I saw some error message on my dashboard. It's Japanese, but I can copy it and paste it on Google, and I can find any some answer from this forum or blog post it written in Japanese. Yes, and uh, this year uh, or last year, I I really surprised uh, one another language translation editor of WordPress said uh, they don't translate error message because engineer can read English and they need to use Google. I was so surprised and shocked. <laughs> yeah, if I cannot, yeah, um, if WordPress uh, show me some English error message, uh, maybe I cannot become WordPress developer <laughs> because I didn't ha uh, speak Japanese. Uh, no, English. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it was shocked. So next, I'll talk about collaborate with community. So I already say we use Globpress for translate WordPress core, and we also use it for uh, plugin, theme, and uh, content of uh, WordPress.org, like plugin repository, forum, and we are working as team. So this is the member of Japanese translation editors. And we use, we use, uh, currently we also use Slack and we also have a Google group and we discuss uh, if we have some problem or something negotiation. And so we can keep quality. We have translation uh, guideline for our, uh, Japanese version of WordPress. You know, uh, we have a lot of uh, way of write, and it, it's very hard to explain in English. But uh, we need guideline. We speak Japanese. All of Japanese can speak Japanese, I hope, but, but, but uh, we need guideline. Like English also has a lot of way to write. And so WordPress admin screen need to use the same format. So if you put some, uh, if you put some string suggestion on WordPress, uh, globe place because uh, everyone can put suggestion, so you can. But uh, if the string is not on the format, uh, that editors will edit. So this is a system to keep quality. And we also grow new contributors. We have, uh, we always have meetup. And we invite new contributors like uh, who out, who submit translation suggestion, and and we also have global polyglot team. This is a photo from uh, contributor day of WordCamp Europe last year. There are a lot of people, and uh, so all of them speaks uh, some language uh, besides English. And all of us have some problem with uh, our language. 
Japanese has Japanese problem and another language has another specific problem. So we we can help we we always help each other. Like uh we also have uh place to communication. Uh, this is uh make the WordPress uh make the WordPress org slash polyglot. This is our home to discuss something and we also have Slack channel polyglot and we 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 have weekly meeting so if we have problem uh, we can we can help each other so we have strong connection so if you have some project of WordPress like if you are author of plugin, if you are author of theme, or if you create some product with WordPress, and if you want to uh, ask someone to use it, uh, may maybe you can you can consider localization, and you can ask community member to help translation. Uh, because uh, sometimes I uh, some, because I'm I can translate WordPress plugin theme. So sometimes when I go to a work camp and I meet some theme author and they ask me to translate their theme and I so their source code and sometimes I cannot uh, we have problem to translate because of original string. So. That time, uh, we we can talk because I have knowledge of WordPress translation, so it's easy. But sometimes uh, I already I already told you, uh, everyone can everyone can suggest translation, but sometimes people use Google Translate and just put it, and they never understand Japanese. So, but we don't want to check all of strings. In that case. So, and, and if even though you hire some professional translator, maybe they should understand the guideline I already show you. So, so easiest way is uh, you ask a polyglot community member first, then uh, work together, and. One more tip, uh, if you put source code on GitHub, it's easier to collaborate. Uh, sometimes on a WordPress repository, I found some uh, string error for translation, and I asked them to fix, but uh, they, they don't answer. But if you have source code on GitHub, it's easier to send pull request. Okay. So, thank you. Uh, I'm Mayo Moriyama, and uh, I'm uh, also a polyglot team member and a community member. And uh, tomorrow we have contributor day, and uh, if you have any question about polyglot and community team, uh, ask me. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mayo. Do we have any questions for her? Anybody from the floor? <laughs> so uh, if you have a, a, a WordPress plugin or a product or something, what's the best way to get it translated into uh, Japanese? Best way? Yeah, the best way to get it translated if you don't speak Japanese. If I don't speak, uh, you. If I, if I don't speak Japanese and I have a, <laughs> a WordPress plugin or a WordPress theme yeah. or a product or something and I want to get it translated yes. into Japanese, what's the best way to do that? Of course, you can ask me. <laughs> and yeah, sometimes you, you know there are a long queue for uh, translation approved, but I already told you some. Sometimes people use Google Translate, and I don't want to review. Uh, we don't want to review all, so you rem you have to remember there are a long queue. So sometimes people ask uh, us to translate. Uh, by mm, to pay, uh, mm, like higher 
us, and it, it also works. Yeah. So so sometimes we, uh, our volunteer, uh, collaborate together, and we we get money from that, and uh, and I, I I use PayPal account to collect money, and I'm. Now I'm saving money for go another work camp, <laughs> so so you can help contributor. Hmm. Okay. Is there any more questions for Maya? Mayu. Hi, uh, my name is Stan. Thank you very much for sharing today. Um, I have a question. Would is there any tool or plugins that you would recommend that can identify the origin from where your uh, users are coming and then? set the language according to the users. So for example, if someone visits my website from Japan, mm. it will be automatically displayed in Japanese. Or from Russia, then Russian, and so on. Is there ah. any plugin or tool that you would recommend for that? So you want to switch language? Yes, oh, that okay. the website automatically identifies where the person Do you want to say something? Any, uh, or no? anyone uh, else? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> there are several ways you can do it. You can use a uh, language switcher. Um, what I usually do uh, when people want multilingual sites is I use mm. multi-site uh, and then have individual sites translated. Um, it's a bit of a pain to do it that way, but it the, the Geo plugin for the different domain uh, mapper for multi-site allows you, so you can have a .co.jp and then use the Geo locator plugin to say mm. anyone coming from Japan load the .co.jp website which would automatically be Japanese. Um, I think Polyglot allows you to do like with the Geo plugin um, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't be difficult to do uh, geolocation um, stuff because there's already a plugin that does that for uh, domain mapping. So it would be very easy for you to then just say instead of doing domain mapping uh, do language switch. So if something doesn't exist, I could probably write you something. So come talk to me. Cool, thank you. <laughs> Any question? Don't, don't be shy to ask. <coughs> Hello, uh, thank you for the talk. Um, I have a client who um, they wanted a multilingual site, but they did not want to pay for a multilingual site. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we're Australian, and um, and so what we ended up doing was um, we used Google Translate plugin. Google Translate uh, is that okay? Mm. <laughs> it depends, but. Mm. In most of cases, I d don't think so. <laughs> it's it's a scientific website and about mm. marine ecology. How, how how do you think? How do you think Japanese guys? Is uh, is so it? translation is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I um, as my opinion, uh, Google translation is very good for. Uh, Western and European languages between, oh, okay. yeah, for English to French or uh, French to English. I think, I guess uh, it's okay and uh, uh, very natural. But uh, English to Japanese, uh, very horrible. <laughs> so <laughs> if you want to do business in Japan, uh, you don't use, uh, you don't, you shouldn't use Google Translation. Mm. Yeah. It, it looks like a, a very stupid. Yes, yes. Yeah, Be beautiful design and a stupid language. Yeah, mm. it's very horrible. Yeah, okay. so yeah, Japanese people think, okay, they, they don't be have business in Japan. Yeah, they realize. Uh, well, <laughs> do we have time? Yeah, actually, I'm just going to add to that. Um, the reason why Western languages are okay with Google Translate, um, because of the grammatical thing, which I'm not gonna get into, <laughs> but it's the the grammar is easier for Google to translate automatically, like the, the uh, just the, by algorithm, and also because the Western languages are like the major languages uh, that it got translated first. 
um, for I'm from Manila, Philippines. So, um, like Japan, like Japanese, the the grammar, our grammar from English is so different. Like it's the reverse. So before, when you translate to Tagalog, my language, it's ugly. It's like, no, I'm not gonna use that. It's so, so cringy. So, mm -hmm. um, but the thing is, uh, Google does also have a volunteer. Does have also a volunteer pool. So Filipinos uh, started translating, and now it's a little more acceptable. But it still has to be tweaked. That said, for example, if you are looking for a, for uh, doing business in Japan. It, you really have to, if you want to use Google Translate, you have to depend on the Google translators from Japan if they want to do it. So if you're, if you're very specific to a certain country, maybe it would be better to just make, um, make a multilingual site. It really depends on what the client wants. They have to put money where, where they want it. Um, I, I, I thought I just want to add something. Um, with regards to languages, I, I run a translation company and I used to work for a company that um, worked for Google and for their own products, they do not use their own Google Translate to translate their own products. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> You've ever tried to use Google Translate with Vietnamese? Don't ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> It, uh, it, what was the question? I don't, I don't really get it. Um, Google relies on professional translators for their own business. So they do not rely on Google Translate for their own business. Hmm. What was the question? <laughs> okay. Comment. <laughs> Comment. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So uh, if there's no other.